Today we are going to run the latest version of Android TV on any computer. It doesn't matter if it's a laptop or a desktop and we will not install anything on the internal hard drive. We will be able to run Android TV apps for streaming media or gaming, controlling them with a keyboard, remote or even a gamepad, all from a USB stick. This means that we can easily switch between Windows and Android TV and if we want to use a different computer, all we need to do is to bring our USB stick, plug it in and all the apps and all the configurations that I've got here will be available on any other device that I use. So it's really simple and let's go for it. Now first of all let's go to the Telegram group and you will need to have the Telegram app on your computer so just search for it and install. I will leave links down below for these two groups that I'm showing. One is from Tulio and the other one is for Android TV x86. These are Portuguese language groups but it's really easy. A huge thumbs up for Bruno and Tulio for developing this which is awesome so that we can play around with Android TV on our computers. Now once we are on the Telegram group we just need to go to the file section and then find the latest version which at this moment of the recording is 18 of December of 2024 and then we just need to download it. Now besides that we will also download Rufus just in case you don't have it and we will insert our USB stick that we will use for our Android TV OS. Now once we have that we just need to open the Rufus app, open the Android TV image or drag it to Rufus and the only change that we will need to do on Rufus is in the partition scheme just select GPT. Click on start and confirm the two warnings that pop up. Now the process will take about one or two minutes and that's it. Once finished we just need to open the USB stick and we will find 2 gigs and 4 gigs storage options. But if we want more, we can download up to 64 gigs storage files from the Telegram group. Now, this is important because this will define how much storage we will have to install apps. So just choose the desired storage and extract the file to the root of our USB stick, which is the main folder. This process will take a few minutes depending on the speed of our USB stick and after completion we can delete the 2 gigs and 4 gigs uh, zipped files that were there and now our USB stick with Android TV is ready to use on any laptop. So we just need to remove from the computer that we were preparing and now I'm free to use on any computer. Now I did start with this one and for that I just inserted the USB stick into this laptop, turned the laptop on and I accessed my BIOS settings. If you haven't used the BIOS yet, usually by pressing delete F2 or F12 are the most common keys but this will depend on the PC. Once we are on the BIOS or BIOS, once we are there we just need to go to the boot menu and select USB stick as the boot device. Start the PC and we will We'll see some lines of code for a few seconds followed by the pixel boot animation which is really cool and then the Android TV setup screen. Now we just need to choose our language, select our Wi-Fi network, name our Android TV and that's done. Just before starting let's check out the storage which in my case I was using the 4 gigs as an example and we can see right over there that we have 4 gigs available. Next we can link our Google accounts to the Play Store and start downloading our favorite apps, whether multimedia apps or even games. I did a few tests with some great results and some results that were not so great and I'll share with you in just a few moments. But one of my favorite features is that I can at this moment install any app and then if I decide I can just shut down this computer, remove the USB pen drive, take to any computer and once I boot it up I will have everything that I did configure here on that computer as well because everything will be saved on the USB pen drive and this is one of my favorite features. Issues that I did find on all this process was that on this computer everything worked great but on one of the tablets that I did try, I will try to leave links down below for the computers that I did use so that you can check them out, but one of them did not recognize Wi-Fi. So I did have to use one of these USB sticks to Wi-Fi. I will try to leave suggestions down below as well. These are cheap so in case your computer 
that doesn't work with Wi-Fi, here's one of the solutions, but there are smallest ones which I will try to share with you. Now, in terms of the experience, the overall was great. I did play around with YouTube, which worked flawlessly with 4K streaming running smoothly. Multimedia apps played movies from my network over Wi-Fi without any issues whatsoever. Prime Video also worked perfectly. I also tested Beach Buggy with a gamepad, which was great. I'm not really sure if I did mention the gamepad and the remote control. We can use any accessory that we want. We just need to connect via USB and that is it. On this computer, I have enough ports. On the tablet, I had to use a USB hub to be able to connect everything. Finally, I also tried Asphalt 8, but it didn't run due to the lack of space. No more space available because I did install a lot of apps and I only add 4 gig. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. So if you are thinking of taking this a bit serious, probably select a bigger USB drive and select that 64 gigs of storage so that you have plenty room. Now, apps that did not work so well. First of all, Netflix, which is one of those that I use on a daily basis. I didn't find it on the Play Store and I was honestly not surprised, but I will try to check out if I can install Netflix. And of course, besides being able to install, more important to be able to use it. And if I do, I will share with you here on the channel. I also tested out with some IPTV services that I do have from my providers and they did not work either. So expect this kind of bug here and there with one app or the other. While Tulio and Bruno, I'm sure that they will improve this and they will release other versions to improve our overall experience. That being said, in my opinion, this is a really fun project, especially for those that carry laptops all day or even that are on different places and they just want to have some fun and take a USB pen drive, connect at this computer or connect on any other computer and have everything as we had on the computer that we configured. And of course, if tomorrow I use another computer and then I install another app on that particular computer, once I get back to this computer, it will be as it was on that one. So this is really, really awesome. Hopefully this video was awesome as well. Hopefully you've enjoyed. And if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.